Hughie Green was with us, you remember? Bewailing the dearth of talent shows on television, particularly Opportunity Knocks. Now, my next guest won a talent show on American television barely 18 months ago, and since then, his first LP has sold two and a half million. Very few of us go through life on scales, but some people seem to have more than their share of emotional upheaval and tragedy. And my next guest is a case in point, but luckily has proved herself a person of great resilience, formerly married to one of popular music's greatest heroes and with a son who's well on the way to following his father's footsteps, Cynthia Lennon. <laughs> Now, the, the first thing I have to say to you, Cynthia, is you look, and I have never met you before, you look exactly as you looked in those 60s pictures when you were still with John. That must have been terrible pictures. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, is it, is it deliberate on your part? Are you, do you think you're sort of still in that time warp that, that you don't want to change? I mean, your hairstyle has remained the same, hasn't it? Well, it has changed in the years, you yeah. know, when everybody had per perms at a certain time. Uh, somebody took me into having a perm, so I had my hair cut off, and I didn't feel me. I, this is me. This is the way I feel. Of course, but this is the thing, of course, Cynthia Lennon, nobody is ever going to let you forget that you were married to John Lennon. Do you, do you regret, in any sense, having met him, having married him? I feel... Well, that's a hard question, but... <laughs> Oh, no, I feel privileged. I feel very privileged that I was... I had a wonderful upbringing, wonderful childhood. I met a man who is remembered and loved still. And I now have a son who is also on a fantastic... Yes, we'll talk about Julian in a, in a moment, but you became public property as Mrs. John Lennon. Do you miss the fame that was attendant on that? Or is it, does it seem like a nightmare to you now? Well, fame is something that I've never looked for in life. No. I mean, fame is, is it's very hard to put fame in inverted commas. I don't know what it means. But the enormous fuss that was made oh, of you as yes. Mrs. John Lennon, I mean, do you look back on that with affection or, or, or horror? A lot of affection. I suppose a lot of horror as well on many occasions. But I mean, that, that is the past. You know, that's a little bit like a lovely record you had in the 60s mm. or in the 50s and you play it and play it and it gets a little bit worn out and it's cracked and I'm a little bit tired of that record now but I'd never break it I would wrap it up carefully and put it away on the shelf and I know it's there but for other people it's it's a constant reminder and people when I'm interviewed it's always about the of Beatles course. and the ex-wife of the Beatles etc etc do you find it difficult to assert your own individuality? Has, has that been an enormous struggle for you? It has to a certain extent, um, mainly because of the responsibility of, of bringing up Julian virtually on my own. But it's not that, it's, it's very difficult to say. I did study for five years a, as an artist. Then I became pregnant. Then I married John. And it was fabulous. I mean, you couldn't, I couldn't wish for anything better. Then, of course, things went wrong. But you know, you just get on with it. And for me, I suppose the, the fact that I had trained, the fact that I had that basis in life has always gone with me. And I knew that no matter what emotional situations were going on, I could... Yes, you've been married, of course, twice since then. Do you feel that, in a sense, it's been... The world comes live from the Grillamat snack bar in Paynton. 